Hi boys and girls, it's story time with Miss Melanie. Today we're going to read the book Uncle Nacho's Hat, adapted by Harriet Romer and illustrated by Myra Reisberg. Uncle Nacho's Hat. Every day Uncle Nacho woke up with the sun. He said, good morning, to his cat and his dog. He said, good morning, to his parrot and his monkey. And he said, good morning, to his hat, which was old and full of holes. Uncle Nacho lit a fire to make his morning coffee. When the fire started to go out, he fanned it with his hat. But since his hat was old and full of holes, it didn't do any good. The little tiny house filled with smoke. The cat meowed, the dog barked, the parrot screeched, the monkey screamed, and Uncle Nacho began to yell at his hat. You're useless and full of holes. You're no good for anything anymore. Uncle Nacho, Uncle Nacho, came a voice at the door. It was Ambrosia, Uncle Nacho's niece. She always stopped in for a little visit on her way to school. What's the matter, Uncle Nacho? Is the house burning down? No, Ambrosia, I'm just fighting with my hat again. It's no good to me anymore. You say that every morning, Uncle Nacho. So today I have a present for you, a new hat. Uncle Nacho put on the new hat and looked at himself in the mirror. See how handsome it makes you look, Uncle Nacho, said Ambrosia. It's true. All the girls will fall in love with me. That's for sure, Uncle Nacho. Well, I have to go to school now. I'll come by later. Take care of yourself, Ambrosia, and thank you for the hat. Now I have a new hat, said Uncle Nacho to himself. But what am I going to do with this old hat that's not good for anything anymore? Hat, he said to his old hat, what am I going to do with you? I know, I'll put you in my trunk. Wait a minute. What if the mice get in and start to eat you? No, no, no. I'd better not put you in my trunk. But Hat, you're really not good for anything anymore, said Uncle Nacho. So don't you keep, you don't keep me dry in the rain. I should throw you away. I'll just take you outside right now and throw you away in the street. Wait a minute. I think I see a car coming. You might get run over. No, no, no. I'd better not throw you away in the street. But Hat, you're really not good for anything anymore, said Uncle Nacho. You don't keep the sun off my head. I should throw you away. I'll just take you outside right now and throw you in the trash. There, may some good man find you, someone who will appreciate you, a decent person. God bless you both. A few moments later, along came Chabella, Ambrosia's mother. She was coming from the market and trying to count her change. Then she saw Uncle Nacho's hat. I know this hat. It's Uncle Nacho's hat. Somebody must be playing a trick on poor old Uncle Nacho. Hat, you're coming with me right away. I'm taking you home to Uncle Nacho. Look, Uncle Nacho, look what I found, your hat. Thank you very much, Chabella. But I threw this old hat away because your daughter Ambrosia gave me a new one. See, it doesn't look good on me. Or doesn't it look good on me? Ambrosia gave you a new hat, so you threw away your old one? Aye. How will anyone know you without your hat? You're right, Chabella. Thank you. And Uncle Nacho took back his old hat. But in truth, hat, you're not good for anything anymore, said Uncle Nacho. 
I really should throw you away. This time I'm taking you far away from here. Then my heart won't break when I think about you. So Uncle Nacho took his old hat to the very edge of the town where the town became the country and he hung it on the branch of a flowering tree. There, at last we can say goodbye. Under the tree, an old gentleman was just waking up from his nap. He saw Uncle Nacho's hat. Sir, sir, you've forgotten your hat. I'm leaving it there, said Uncle Nacho. It isn't any use to me anymore. Can you give it to me then? Take it, the hat is yours. Thank you, sir, thank you very much. Uncle Nacho watched the old gentleman walk away wearing the hat. At last, a deserving person has my hat. May it serve him well. The old gentleman was so happy with his hat that he didn't see Pedro and Paco following him. Hey, look, said Pedro. That old guy's wearing Uncle Nacho's hat. He must have stolen it. We're taking back the hat you stole, cried Paco. I didn't steal it, protested the old gentleman. That's a lie. You stole it. The boys and the old gentleman fought over the hat until it was completely torn apart. Finally, the boys grabbed it and ran away. We got it. Let's take it to Uncle Nacho. Uncle Nacho will be so happy to have his hat. Uncle Nacho! Uncle Nacho! What's going on, boys? Look what we've got. We got your hat back from that old thief who stole it. Uncle Nacho was angry. I gave that hat to the old gentleman, and now you've ruined it. It isn't even a hat anymore. Uncle Nacho took back what was left of the old hat and slammed the door. A little later, Ambrosia arrived for a visit on her way home from school. What's the matter, Uncle Nacho? Why aren't you wearing your new hat? I've been too busy worrying about my old hat, Ambrosia. The more I try to get rid of it, the more it comes back. I don't know what to do. Ambrosia thought for a few moments. Stop worrying about the old hat, Uncle Nacho. Think about your new hat instead. Ah, I never thought of that before. How intelligent you are, Ambrosia. Uncle Nacho put on his new hat. Hat, let's go. I'm taking you to meet my friends. I like your hat. What a nice new hat, Uncle Nacho. Your hat looks great. And I like my new hat too. The end.